Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a, another one sixth scale review. It's been a while since I've looked at one of these figures. Now this is not made by Hot Toys. This is made by Quantum Mechanics. This figure is a little bit cheaper than what a Hot Toys figure would run you, but it's one that I have wanted for quite some time. I always seem to get my, you know, have my eyes on this one, but I never pull the trigger because I love the Conjuring universe. I love all the Conjuring movies as well. You know, The Nun, Annabelle, you know, uh, Curse of La Llorona. I love them all. So I had to get The Nun. And again, the, the, the first thing I see is this creepy image of The Nun on the front. <sighs> what am I going to do? I'm terrified already. And I haven't even opened it yet. But I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. We have an alternate head that comes with the nun, as well as a portrait and some alternate hands. So right up front here at the top, Warner Brothers, The Conjuring Universe springs from the terrifying true stories of the uh, demonologists Lorraine and Ed Warren. In The Conjuring, they face the malevolent spirit of a murdered witch, and in The Conjuring 2, Lorraine had a horrifying vision of a demon, Valak, that that takes the form of a nun. Now, in the movie prequel, The Nun, that demon stalks the Holy Sisters of a, co of a Coven in Romania. It's an ancient site that holds a dark secret and a portal to hell. This collectible figure has over 36 points of articulation and features two different heads, one with her scary I'm going to get you stare, and another head in attack mode, with her, her wide-open mouth revealing terrifying fangs. Multiple hands and Ed Warren's haunting portrait of her from The Conjuring 2 are included as well as a logo base. So, let's go ahead and I got this off Macari for a really good price. And, you know, the seller already had the top open. But they never, from what they said, they never actually taken it out of the box. They just, you know, cut the top off here so they can open it up and make sure everything looked okay. So, okay, for a good price, I'm all about that. It does not bother me whatsoever. So let's put that to the side. And let's go ahead and, well... Look at that. Do I even want to take it out of the box? Oh, I'm terrified already. <laughs> it's going to be, look at this. Look, just from the box alone. Holy crap. That is frightening. Absolutely frightening. Okay. Wow. You know, and I was already prepared for the review. You know, I have my little you know, Halloween-style shirt on here. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get her open. Okay, now this I already did cut open from this part here. So we can go ahead. I want to make things a little bit quicker in the review and unboxing. So let's go ahead and let's take her out. Oh, man. What am I getting myself into? Okay, put this to the side. It's been a while since I've done one. I don't remember the last one I did. Let's go ahead and take this off of here. I can't wait to get her displayed on a shelf. This is going to be amazing. Terrifying, but amazing at the same time. So just like a Hot Toys figure, everything is basically, you know, placed and things fall. Wow, it has been a long time since I've done one of these, and the last time I did one, things were falling out. I love it. It's just like right back to old times. Cannot do a video on this channel without something falling out. Well, that was just an alternate hand. I'll leave that one on the ground for now. But let's just get her out, because that's what we really want to see. We want to see what does she look like out of the package. Okay. Well, I got to say, easier to take out than a Hot Toys figure. That is for certain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This. Okay. Look. Can you see the detail on this figure? This just blows my mind how incredible this figure looks. This is terrifying. I keep saying it, but it is. I mean, in person... If you see pictures of this, it does not do it justice. Believe me, it does not do it justice. Okay, so we have, you know, everything is cloth right here. Right from the back. See, so very, really, really nice detail. 
to the figure. Put that back on. Okay, every like I said, everything is cloth. This is like a leathery type of feel to this. You know, she does have articulation, so the arms, you know, the swivel, swivel at the uh, shoulder. She's gonna get you. She's pointing at you. She's gonna come get you right now. Oh, I might have to lock this away at night when I go to sleep. Oh yeah, so it's a really good articulation. I am surprised, and I am, you know, p pleasantly surprised. I really like seeing that. Not restricted. With Hot Toys, you kind of get them, you know, a little bit of restriction, but not with this company, obviously. This one is really, really, you know, nicely done. So happy to see that. Now, let's see. Can we get some leg movement? This is where we might, now the arms, like I said, the arms are good, but see the legs, we're going to get some restriction because of the gown. As a dress. Okay, so we're definitely going to get some restriction there with the legs moving. But again, she's not kicking anybody. She's just going to kill you. That's it. She's going to come get you. She's not trying to kick anybody's butt. So, we have some swivel at the wrist. Let's see. We can pull, pull this up. Nice paley skin. You can definitely get some sun. And we set, see, you can definitely see the articulation and the elbow joints. So nice. Nice. Okay. So that is done very, very well. Let's go ahead and fix that because I can see that that could wind up being quite a problem. That can get kind of messed up on you. Now, let's go ahead and okay, first off, look at that portrait. Now that comes with this figure and that is just creepy. Well done, well done. Really, really awesome. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, right, let's get the base out here. Now this is definitely like a you know hot toys figure that's the bottom of the base right there you know so it mentions quantum mechanics so that's nice and on the front it says the nun okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna pop her pop this base together and prop her up and let's see what we have okay let's get her in here Oh, yeah. Okay. What does everyone think of Valak from The Nun? That face. Okay, we do have this. Just check out the, uh, the joints. I'm just blown away right now how good this figure looks. You know, usually, you know, with, you know, with something like Hot Toys or Sideshow, you know you're going to get good quality. But, we, you know, with another different, you know, with a different company doing these, sometimes it can be hit and miss, hit or miss. Not with this one. This one is dead on. Those eyes, I don't want to stare at them too long. I really don't. I need to go to bed soon. I don't want to stare at these things too long. But head swivel, okay, so the head, look at that really good articulation. Everything, you look down, look up. Nice swivel, Okay. I'm blown away. I, I keep saying it, but I'm, I really am. Really nicely done by Quantum Mechanics. Now, you definitely have to watch when you put her on the base because this can definitely get a little messed up here. So, I think that's the best the best way to go is like that. Okay. So, that is her sitting on, standing on the base. Now, what can we do here? Let's look at the items that she comes with. Go off of here. Tape stuck to this one. Okay, she does have a cross right here. Okay, and let's go ahead. I mean, we saw the alternate hands. We'll take a look at some of them right now. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like she's reaching out. It's like she's come, like coming right at the screen, coming to get you. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Of course, we have our hand that we dropped on the ground because, you know, can't do a video without something falling out of one of these packages. This, look at these hands. These hands are creepy. Like, I'm going to reach around your neck. Like, yeah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then, hey, she's going all Fonzie on this one. Hey, my happy days. Perfect. And, of course, we have the one that fell on the floor. Now, should we dare go and change the head? I think we need to do that. I think we definitely need to change out the head. Now, from what I can see, it looks like we got to pop this up just like this. Oh, okay. Very, very easy. Very easy to do. And let's go ahead and let's put this one on. It's, wow. Simple. 
so, so easy to do. That is fantastic. Okay. Look at this. I don't know. This space might even be... Whoa. Okay. Let's get her into a pose here. I, I gotta get her into a pose. And you know what we're gonna do before I go and put this one? I gotta do the hands. Let's go ahead and we're gonna change these hands out. Really easy to change change the uh, the pegs too. Really, really easy. But I can see that this one here is gonna be a little trickier. It did come out easy, but the problem is coming out easy. It also pulled the peg out with the hand. So you gotta be careful when you take, you know, when you do that. But it seems like it definitely goes back in fairly easy. Okay, let's get this other hand. I want to go with these hands. These these are oh these are these are great. Absolutely great. Okay. Perfect. Absolutely. Stand right here. Don't attack me just yet. Sweet till after the review's over. Okay. Okay. Look at this. The hands coming to get you. Look at that. That face is just. Let's get this fixed. I can see this being a little bit of a problem, but I think I got it right there. Look at that. That is awesome. Just that's the only word I can possibly think of. That and terrifying. And enough to give you chills when you try to go to sleep at night. But I love it. I love the conjuring, and this is just great to have and to add. You know, you know, to get going once again with the one six scales. This is a great, great figure, and I absolutely think I want to stay with that. I think I want to stay with that particular setup. So I'll take the altered head. Now this is the, now this is the thing when you go all these things. You know, when you take the head off, all these things are going to come apart. So you just make sure you don't want, you don't want to lose anything because you know because it's only holding on by a thread too. So again, you got to be careful to make sure that. You don't lose any of the parts. So I'm going to put that alternate head. I'll tuck that away. Put the hands away. And that's basically all that the nun comes with. Now we can go ahead and see if we can put this on as well. Let's pop the head off again. So easy. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how easy it is to change out the head on this figure. Let's go ahead and let's go and put this back on, like so. Okay, there we go. Now, I believe that they have like some kind of like elastic inside here, so you can kind of like change position. But I think that. What does everyone think? Like I said, not a lot to this figure, but what they give you is just fantastic. And this portrait here, I gotta find like a little stand to put this on so I can put it right next to her. This is great. I love it. Could not be happier with how this figure looks. Again, it's been a while since I've done one of these one-six scale, you know, unboxings and reviews, but this looks great. Closer to the camera, his eyes. So lifelike. There's just life in there, and it's. I think that's what's even more chilling. Just how you know how crazy it is they were able to capture that likeness within the eyes. Great job by Quantum Mechanics. This figure came out back in 2019, and it's still running pretty good. I, I was able to snag this um, on Macari. Like I said, really good price. This figure usually runs about 200, and I was able to snag this for about 140. So. Not a bad price, you know, for this figure. Absolutely not at all. Happy to grab, happy to add this to the collection. And I'm definitely going to get the shelf set up with all these figures. And it's going to look great. And this is going to be one of the crown jewels that is going to be on that shelf. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, and comment if you get a chance. And hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. Maybe. Bye.